popular zombie game based off of Arma has become just its own world at this point. I'm joined by Brian Hicks, creative director. How you doing, Brian? Doing all right. So talk to me about some of the recent updates to the game, because the game just got its very hotly anticipated, I believe, 0 .60 update. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on our experimental, uh, kind of our testing branch right now. You yeah. have to opt into it on Steam. But we've, um, you could say we received kind of overwhelming uh, amount of attention. We didn't anticipate it. Uh, the branch usually supports like 2,000 players. It's meant to test, you know. Yeah. I mean, the whole game on early access is meant to test, but that's, it's called experimental for a reason. Uh -huh. right? And um, you know, we put the build live, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks back, and uh, started to notice uh, Twitch, on, our, 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 on, on Twitch, that we were in, in the top 10. I think we were like game number four, but if you look at the, at the, at the streams, it was all the server browser. Because <laughs> everybody was trying to get into the servers, and there was not enough slots. Wow, in the experimental In branch. the experimental wow. branch, yes. It, it kind of caught us uh, off guard. And um, when we looked at the numbers later on, uh, that branch, out of the roughly 350,000 people that play Daisy every month, a hundred and I think it was 95,000 concurrents over 24 hours were trying to access this testing build. It just caught us completely off guard. Uh, you're right, it, it is very um, anticipated. Like people have been talking about it for a while. I mean, Dean talked about this uh, you know, before he moved on to Rocketworks about the whole, the new renderer for the Infusion Engine, the Powers Daisy, moving to DirectX 11 and kind of finally tackling that client-side performance issue that you know everybody had as their biggest gripe. Oh, my frames, my frames. And uh, you know, I'll be honest. I, uh, I I I knew what we were getting, and it looked good. Uh, but I was I was just, second it hits the consumer branch. There's going to be problems, I know. And and it it went out there, and the adulation and the excitement, the performance other players were getting was better than I could manage to get on my machine. <laughs> and it just it started to hype myself. But yeah, it's it's a huge update for us. Well, it's it's great to hear that 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 went so well. And can you talk a little bit about like? specifically what some of those performance upgrades are. You talked about the Enfusion engine yes. as well. Yeah, so Enfusion uh, is, is effectively the end product of the, the core engine that Daisy will be on when we finish development. It's, it's a big focus for Bohemia because we're going to use it for future titles, obviously moving forward. We're kind of an engine company to a degree. Right. And um, yeah, so visually, uh, it, it, it was difficult for me at first because I see it every day uh -huh. to see the change, but the consumers hadn't seen it. It was, it was kept, it was kept, you know, internally. And when we pushed it out there, uh, from things that are so simple as our inventory screen, you know, moving to a new skin, a new tech from uh, from uh, from other technology in the company to make the the UI run uh, far less machine intensive uh, for that the performance there, and moving to things like um, you see the on the on the screen here, we have uh, volumetric fog and new rain. Uh, just th these kind of um, rainstorms on the coast that can occur, like with this this footage here we showed a little bit earlier. In that rainstorm, you can see the the post process from this uh, this new DirectX 11 um, Infusion render, where it has this kind of diffusion on the on the um, on the characters as they're further out in the fog. So I couldn't tell if another player was coming at me or if it was an infected. What was going on? I just knew there was a threat and it was coming. And it kind of tends to make the, the coastal experiences, when the weather's bad and the fog rolls in, it gets very kind of claustrophobic and very scary. It adds a whole new kind of environmental threat to Daisy that we haven't had just yet. So I, I hate to ask this question when point six zero is still on the experimental branch, but what are you guys looking at moving forward? What's next? Well, next up for our point six one update uh, is a couple things I'm, I'm personally really excited about. I mean, obviously, uh, we're adding a server queue uh, now after the point six zero stuff. <laughs> Uh, but for point six one, um, uh, the guys over at Arma were, uh, you know, helpful enough to sit down and talk with us about the uh, the Eden update that they just recently pushed out and the audio impact that that could have on DayZ. That's one of the great things about working in a company that does so much tech and engine work in house and having these this just this this fifteen year history with their own technology. That uh, you know the uh, the Arma guys sat down. They said this could really, really work for DayZ. And you know, I look over to, to Eugen, my, my producer, and I said, Eugen, can we, can we do this? And the decision was made. And if, if you listen to, to the, the audio in Arma 3 after the, the Eden update, it's just leagues above what I ever thought we could do in DayZ. So we have the server, bre or the, the server queue coming up. We have uh, the, uh, the, mo uh, the module uh, audio from, from Eden coming over from Arma. And then uh, we're going to be pushing out the first of our Predator AI. Well, recently, I think around Christmas, we talked about wolves. 
And that's specifically what we're looking at pushing in the next .61 build. It's the next big thing after .60 hits. It's putting out Predator AI, Wolves specifically. We want to work on other ones later on. Server, uh, server Q and uh, just completely rehauling the tech behind our audio. Well, very cool. Thank you very much for coming and talking with me about it. Thank you.